Hey, what's going on, Niner fans? Let's talk about it, man. I didn't want to do a video, but everyone's talking about it, so I want to give my take. So, we've seen it, man. We've seen the video. Brandon Ayuk, Kyle Shanahan going at it. Brandon Ayuk acting like St. Pierre from the MMA, out there kicking things, <laughs> having a temper tantrum. And I just want to say this, man. For those of you guys that wanted Brandon Ayuk to be on this team, we got to sign him, we got to sign him. Let's not blame it on you guys. It ain't your fault. You got to blame it on something else. Blame it on the rain that was falling, falling. We just, we didn't know how much of a headache Brandon Ayuk could be, but I, <laughs> this is just like 2020 because 2020, what happened? Injuries and Brandon Ayuk was in the doghouse. Now, this doghouse now is kind of, it's a lot bigger. It's $30 million doghouse that he, he's in right now. But hopefully, hopefully things could change, you know, because Brandon, yeah, he's not having the best season, obviously. We all know that. It's going to take him a while. And uh, it looks like there's just uh, drama going on right now with uh, with this. And how it got to me thinking, man, remember last year, what happened last year? How Brandon and you kind of he broke out, man. He went off, and it all started obviously with a great training camp. But who was also the person that got him going in training camp, OTA's mini camp? Who was it? It was freaking Fred Warner. For those of you guys who don't remember, Fred Warner, I'll be honest, he was an ass. He was an ass to Brandon Ayuk last training camp. He was out there chirping at him every day, talking trash, sometimes getting a little hits on him. And we all remember what happened when they these two guys got in a fight at practice, ready to throw down. And it just brought something out of Brandon where after that, man, he just went off. He went off like he hated. He was like, oh, you know what? You're not going to be doing this crap to me. And it got him going, man. For some reason, you know, Fred Warner, I don't know what it was. He probably knew, I don't know, Brandon Ayuk was probably kind of acting up our stuff because he he targeted him. Like he was like, you're going to be my, you're going to be my punk this uh, training camp. And he, he went out. I remember day after day, like hearing reports of him just talking trash to Brandon uh, doing stuff, and Brandon finally one day he got grew with some balls, and he's like, "That's it, we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight." Who remembers it? That was awesome. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe Brandon Ayuk right now needs that bad cop again. You have the good cop, bad cop. Maybe he needs someone to fire his ass up, get him going. You know, out there talking trash to him. You know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> like Fred Warner did. He was freaking whacking him, tackling him in practice. And Brandon Ayuk was like, enough's enough, man. He And he earned respect, man. He earned respect from the locker room. He turned out to be, uh, had a, have a big year. And he was awesome, man. And I don't know, maybe he got paid that mil that money and he kind of went back to being old Brandon, you know. I, we don't know the stories, what happened, why he was in the doghouse. But now, now thinking about it, it's like, fudge, maybe there was a reason Kyle put him in the doghouse, you know, because he kind of did stuff like this, so. Maybe there is that someone on defense, maybe on offense, man, that could kind of, you know, do something. What Fred Warner did last year, and if Fred Warner starts doing the same thing to Brandon, starts, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, you know, getting this guy. You know, he's making all this money. I'm gonna freaking get at him and put him in his place again. And like I said, it worked. Like last year, I was questioning, like Fred Warner, what are you doing, dude? Why are you picking on BA so much? Like, what's going on? But I think it was for a reason. It was for a reason he was doing that. He wanted to get the best out of B.A. And, you know, after all that, you know, after finally when it came to them freaking fighting, um, Fudge, Brandon Ayuk was on fire. And then they were fine after. We saw videos um, right after the fight and training camp. I forgot who it was that took the picture. Those two guys were talking. They were just enjoying it, like loving, loving life together, like besties, you know. But I think it took that to get them going. And now... People will be like, yeah, hey, do that again, you know? He's already a $30 million man. He's established already. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe like yesterday, Friday's practice was the tipping point where it's like, all right, we got to get this dude back. We got to get Brandon from last year back. 
And I get it. I know he's not in complete shape right now. I, I get that. That's one of the factors why he's not playing playing great. But, you know, got to kick that attitude too, man. Got to kick that attitude. I know B.A. is probably frustrated. Like, oh, I wasn't big, part of that game plan. A big part of that game plan. So he's mad at Kyle. So he wants to, you know, lash out and not dress accordingly. You know, you can't be doing that. Obviously, some people are like, oh, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. It's like, bro, if everyone else is wearing the same thing, the black shorts, why are you wearing something else? Like, nah, there's no excuses for that. Come on now. Like, I'm pro player. I'm always, I'm pro player a lot. But come on, dude. You, you're doing this for a reason. He had the black shorts ready to go, too. If you've seen the video, man, he had the black shorts ready to go. Like, he wanted a confrontation. Like, he wanted that. Like, he wanted it, man. Like, you know, sometimes you do something and you're like, you are you do it for a reason just to get at someone. Like, he wanted to get at Kyle right there. And you see Kyle was just pissed off. Like, mother effer. Like, he was pissed off, man. You know that. So, I mean... That's just my solution, man. Good cop, bad cop. Someone's got to get in there and freaking, you know, kind of put him in a spot, man. Because, again, if he was playing great, going off, playing like 30, a $30 million wide receiver a year, none of this would be happening, man. I, I know, back. remember back in the day, T.O., always stuff going on with the Niners. But at the end of the day, man, the dude was freaking awesome. He was producing. He was producing. He was making play after play. You want like you want playmakers, man. Prime time. Deion Sanders. Super Bowl weekend out there partying. They had to have a meeting, you know. But do you still want that on your team? Heck yeah. As long as you're producing. Charles Haley. I don't know if he young, youngster. I know <laughs> Charles Haley was kind of before my time, but I remember watching documentaries and I remember hearing the stories. Charles Haley. The stuff he did at freaking meetings is like, what the fuck? Like, I can't even say, man, because I'll get demonetized for this. The stuff that he would do that Joe Montana and these guys would say, that stuff that he would do in meetings, just craziness, like craziness, man. Go look it up. It's crazy. But the stuff he would do in meetings, you think the freaking players, I mean, the coaches did anything? Fudge, you know Why? That dude helped us win so many damn Super Bowl rigs, man. That's the thing, man. Brandon, he's got he's got to perform. If he wants to be that diva stuff, fine, I guess. I don't like it, but you got to be producing, man. You got to be producing. You have to put up big numbers, big time numbers. You know, I know some people are blaming Kyle for this because it is true, man. He does. He is a pro player guy, and so sometimes when you do that, people can take advantage. You know, I mean, him with his buddies going to what Cabo together, you know, that could be an act of favoritism. I so I get that part, but you gotta you gotta fall in line, man. You gotta fall in line, and if you're a little crazy, <laughs> do a little crazy things, you gotta at least produce, dog. You gotta police produce because right now, a lot of Niner fans right now they want to take his head off. Like they, I seen the things that they're saying, man, about Brandon you and I get it, but I just think. He'll get it going later on. And hopefully if someone out there like Fred Warner, you know, practice, be a little rough. Be a little rough. I think that's going to help, man. Just like last year, man. Got him going. It made him one of the best wide receivers in the game. So that's just my thought, man. Let me know what you guys think. Think I'm crazy or what? But uh, I just think he needs a push. And hopefully someone can give it to him. I feel like he still <laughs> I got, let me know what you guys think.